Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to save and load states in PPSSPP. So that correctly, sometimes I do say that incorrectly. Okay, so a save and load state allows you to save anywhere in the game. So it's not dependent on where the game usually would allow you to save. Sometimes the game doesn't even allow you to save specifically and just automatically saves. This can let you save anywhere. You can come back and can have multiple save states. Loading is essentially just getting back that state. So it's really, really cool and simple i'm doing some windows the same process is on mac windows and linux as long as you've got you know ppss pp set up using the i've got a separate set of videos for windows for mac and for linux and yeah as long as you got that set up the process is the same so the save and load state stuff is right here it's grayed out because you need a specific game or not specific you need a game launched so let me launch up Tekken 6. I'm going to turn the volume down just so let me stay with us. And as you can see, they have appeared now. We won't access them yet. I just want to get into, let's say, the game and then just save a state, you know, somewhere in the game. So if we go to Arcade Battle, let's move the mouse out. Let's say if I choose my favorite character, Jin. Okay, so it's getting in. This works on, you know, newer versions of PPSSPP as well, depending on when you are watching the video. So I'm just going to pause it. Imagine if I want to get back to here. What I can do is, first of all, you can just choose your save, you know, slot. So you can have up to five save slots per game. So just do one for now. And if I press F3, it switches between the save slots. So that's the easy way of switching. And there's also shortcuts for saving and loading. So you can save it using F2, load it using F4. So if I click save, it's been saved. And now if I was to stop the emulation, open Tekken 6 again. As you can see, this is going through the regular process of launching the game. If we go to load state, make sure you've got you know the right state selected. Click load state. As you can see, it's taking me back right here where I left this off. And like I said, you can have a total of five load, let me save states. And you can also save a state file and you can set it specifically. So theoretically, you could have multiple save states beyond the you know default five. I'll say just do this if you want to sort of transfer them over or you do need extra. Otherwise, just use the save state slots. It's just a lot easier. So that is how you save and load states in the PPSS PPM emulator on Windows, on Mac, and on Linux. It's exactly the same. If you have any questions, though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.